So what is going on everybody, my name is Meho and welcome to your 10th MongoDB tutorial in which I'm going to show you what modifiers are in MongoDB and how to pretty much work with them. Well we already worked with a single modifier set in the last tutorial when I demonstrated you how to update records but set is actually a modifier right so I'm just going to cover it again real quick here. So in what modifiers are actually that in MongoDB you can do some conditional updating or like conditional operations like you just want to retrieve some sort of data which is based on this thing or you know you just want to increment some field in your object you just don't want to perform a two-way trip like you are you're retrieving the data from the database first then you are increment the value inside your programming language which whichever you are using and then you're sending that data back so mongodb kind of makes it you know easier to do without performing a two two-way interaction you just have to send a data to increment and just simply increment the value from the original one so what happens now is that in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you the usage of the set one but uh, there are a couple of more modifiers which I will just cover later on so what happens is that uh, uh, well I guess I need to create a record first so let me just say that uh, DB dot uh, uh, okay so let's just create an object first so this object would be like uh, name mean then uh, uh, food pizza and uh, then what I want to do is uh, let's just say learning mongo okay pretty cool now what I want to do is that say db dot awesome people dot insert object uh, just build this boy it says me insert it then I just want to switch it over to db dot or use mdb then I'm gonna say db dot awesome people dot find and you can see that I have this record right there and does pretty has any effect right now yes it has so it's kind of nice to look at right so okay so now what I want is that let's just say you created your registration fields right you have your username field and your um, password then profile URL and whatnot right so then you suddenly remember after making your site live oh I forgot this one so instead of just taking your whole server down performing a test on local host which is kind of a good practice but anyways you can just create a new field in your database and how you would do that is actually you would say something like if I get rid of this and this one has you would say like db.awesomepeople.update right and this would be your first criteria what you have to update right just like we did in the last tutorial so this would have to be your first criteria for this records right there I have like I can just do name as Mehul because I have only one record so that's not a problem at all I'm just gonna say name as Mehul right and now what I want to do is I want to set a particular value and if I do something like this then it would just kind of replace the object I don't want that I want to set a particular value or you know update something or whatever but I want to do to a particular value I don't want to fl flush out the record itself so I'm gonna make use of the set and the modifiers start with the dollar sign right so that's kind of make them unique to identify and I'm gonna say set to be like uh, I can say um, I want to add a new feed like uh, you know what do we have for now like I want to add a country field right so I'm just gonna say country and then IN right so you know you could just add some more fields here but I'm just gonna leave it with one so you know what the heck well if I just build it now you see that it 
showed me right result in matched one and the whatever you call this the terminal or shell whatever you can see that the country record is added so pretty much that's how set works and see if I kind of get rid of this right are we closed completely yes so if I build this one you can see that it changed and modified to one and if I run it right now you can see that we pretty much screwed it up right you can see that the whole object is deleted and the only thing which we are left with is this country and obviously the ID is this is taken care you know MongoDB just takes care of this thing so you don't have to worry about the ID right so don't do this sort of thing because uh, it kinda looks you know meaningful but it is meaningless actually so that is how pretty much set works and you could just you know add an array or whatever you want to you know this is just your pretty much your value which we discussed in the data types so you can just add a awesome country or whatever you can just change it to pizza again or food or whatever I don't know you know you I can just show you that you can add some things like uh, pizza or burger and noodles as well so if I now build this or actually we have changed the criteria right so now it's no longer name mehul it's now country as I n so if I now build this you can see that it changed and modified to one and then if I do a pretty you can see that the food is added as an array right so you can just do that with the some sort of integers as well and uh, you can actually add a collection inside or actually set a collection inside this collection as well so I'm just gonna show you that as well so what you have to do is write db dot or oh, let me just what the heck is it scrolling down every time might be fault with mouse or something well anyways I'm gonna say db dot uh, awesome people dot uh, like uh, no not here dot uh, insert uh, my object here and the object would be again something like name as a mehul and then languages and a bunch of languages here like web to be HTML CSS JavaScript mobile as Ionic and Android or actually native I should probably write so if I now build this run this bad boy again you can see that we have this crap right there doesn't matter and this one right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna say or actually let me just get rid of this one db dot awesome people dot update right and now I want to like update a particular field inside my languages document right so this is a document inside a document sort of inception feeling so I'm gonna say this would be languages dot web right so languages dot web so that's how you pretty much get into the hierarchy or whatever you call that so the next thing languages.web is uh, obviously you need to specify some sort of thing and I should have rather added a simple one here as well otherwise we need to copy this thing and make it one liner as well and get rid of this one as well well that sucks and that would do so yeah now we have this update criteria set and then I'm again gonna, gonna make use of the set so 
the rest of the stuff is kind of similar languages start web and then I'm gonna set this to another array which would be like wow I know nothing right so okay so now let's just build this okay so it says me that nothing is matched and the reason is oh I have actually enclosed the array in quotes it should not be like that because it's then it's creating it like a string now build it you can see that it's n matched one and n modified one well I guess actually I could have used name mehul here as well well anyways so now you can see that in web it changed to wow I know nothing so that is how pretty much you go inside what the heck go inside the documents inside documents well, that is kind of buggy and it looks like it's it's falling under the action of gravity or something well anyways so that is how pretty much you make use of set modifier and the next couple of or more tutorials would be real quick because I took some time in this one to explain how set works with the the nested documents as well so yeah that's all for this one and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one